Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. So we're going to crack on, as normal, with our American West topic. And we're going to be looking at exam board favourites, something called the Johnson County War. Now, why do they like talking about this? Is because it's a really good example of when crime got out of control, the lack of law and order, the kind of power of rich people, and this kind of constant scrabble overland. So I've scanned the pages from the textbook in the, the uh, I should be on show my homework. Um, you can download the PowerPoint on the P drive and I'll attach the link for that on there as well. Okay, so this will be our last lesson before Easter. Not that it really makes any difference at the moment. So where are we talking about? We're talking about a place called Wyoming. So you look on the map there, Wyoming is kind of like one of these weird kind of square shaped states, which really generally means it's quite a new state. Um, and basically, the population of Wyoming at this time in the 18, late 19th century was really, really small. So a huge amount of land available. Lots of people came to move into there. So this became a real opportunity really about land and making a lot of money. So that's where Wyoming is. So this is a kind of summary about the whole thing. So I'm just going to talk you through the first slide. And if you can then go on and then continue with the other slides in the same manner which I have done. Okay, let's flick on. So page H385, I've scanned those pages for you. So let's go through what was going on in Wyoming. So basically the land was being developed by rich ranchers, mainly British investors. Um, what they were doing in order to secure their power, they were putting their friends as judges and sheriffs in influential positions in the state. Um, so many people living there, normal people, homesteaders, felt they were living in some kind of feudal system where they were being controlled by the rich and powerful. Um, but in 1886, as we know, there was a really that cold, really ridiculously cold winter of like minus 50, the great die up. Lots of cows died, particularly a lot of the ranchers' cows, and they took a huge financial hit. However, the small homesteaders didn't seem to do as badly as the big ranchers, and the ranchers suspected that homesteaders had been rustling their cattle in order to survive. I'm pretty sure that probably did happen. However, obviously, if you're accused of a crime, you have to go to trial where you have a jury. And obviously, the jury, the juries were made up of um, many normal homesteaders who rarely would have convicted um, somebody of uh, rustling because, you know, they wouldn't want to convict somebody who was like themselves. So effectively, the ranchers didn't feel like the theft of their cattle was being investigated properly, so they decided to take it into their own hands, which effectively meant them hiring a private army, which you'll go and look at. And so what you need to do is keep going on slide two, three, four, five. I've also attached a, a clip um, which is can be quite useful. Um, it's very American. You may have to reboot it. It's a bit of a dodgy website. Um, see how many times they say, new champion, new champion. It says it about a million times. It's absolutely ridiculous. But um, that is well worth having a look at. Okay. Hope you have a nice break, Easter. If you could any problems, queries, email me or whatever. Okay. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you.